So next up we have the folder track. I imported a few drum loops. And to help us organize these different tracks, Cubase offers us the folder track, which we're going to add. We can add as many as we want. So let's just add five. The process is very simple. We can give it a name, drums, and then mark all these tracks and pull them into the drum folder. And now we can expand or collapse these folders and the project is now tidied up, which is very cool. You can also change the color of this drum track by hovering over it with the mouse, pressing down the control key and scrolling with the mouse and then you can just change the colors here. And in the newer versions of Cubase you can now also see the phase coherent audio warp function. Basically what this allows you to do is to free warp all of these files at once in a way that is phase coherent. And like this you can change the length of this audio uh, without getting into any phase problems. I'm not going to go into the details of this, but this is what you can do when you put all of these tracks in the drum folder.